Oh, my guy down bad, bro. City boys, we lost one, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got to do walk the chance to that one. Is that, is that not a ring? Like, what? Bro, she acting like she got possessed by a demon. She needs some holy water in her, bro. Hello? What the when I got time, cooking the sun in. Yeah, I do this in my sleep, it ain't nothing. I like the sex better when it's with the loving. Bumbo clock. I just lost the eye, Jaro stuff, all right, you know what I'm saying? What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video from yours truly, J Hall, man. So, in this video, man, we got couples gone crazy. There is a lot of crazy shit that be going on amongst couples, man. A lot of trauma, there's a lot of healing to do. And in this video, man, you're gonna see some of that crazy shit. So actually, before I get into the video, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my vlog channel, man. I got some fresh content coming for you guys over there, man. Now let's get into this video. You wanna know how I make my man happy? I let him play with my mom. Yeah, I'm that kind of wife. Hey yo! Hey yo, what the fuck? Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Where my t-shirt at? That's crazy. So listen, man, this is something only a man can dream of, man. I can only dream of this. The mom is kind of fine too, man. A threesome with a mom and a daughter, man. That might be on the bucket list. That might be on the bucket list, man. We'll see. We'll see if it's gonna happen, man. If it, if it happens, y'all gonna be the first ones I'm gonna tell, okay? The first ones. It's over. It's over. It's over. See? Wow. See, now you're wet already? Now you're hey, wet? Not can you just come in the water with me? Yo, she did not throw the J's in the ocean, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, it's over, bro. You never throw a black man's J's in the ocean. What the fuck are you thinking? You might as well cheat on me if you're gonna do that. You might as well cheat on me. Come on. Stop playing with me. Actually, you might as well get get a train right on you, record it, and send it to me before you throw my J's in the ocean. Negro, please. I'll get all your stuff out my hotel room right now. You think? Hey, wake up. Wake up. My husband is home. You gotta go. Stupid, you're my husband. <laughs> hey, he might be your husband in real life, but in his mind, he married to the game. Oh, not you? You retarded? <laughs> what are you... You're... What were you running from? This man was having flashbacks. Fuck up. <laughs> Bro, I don't like where this is going. I'm so confused. What the fuck is going on, bro? What in the name of ghetto and wretchedness is going on right now? Why is she? What? Let me do. Let me do Why what I want to do. Why is she spazzing? Did my guy fake propose to her? I'm so lost, bro. Is that, is that not a ring? Like, what the fuck? Bro, she acting like she got possessed by a demon. She needs some holy water in her. Let me do what I want to do. Say what I want to say. Answer that. Tell me better. That motherfucker be trying to tell me how to dress, how to eat, how to sleep, how to bathe. What to say? I can't do a motherfucking thing that I want to do. Sit up in the house with the clothes on three weeks at a yeah. time. You goddamn right. You yeah, yeah, fuck it. Let it. Hey, 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 I can talk to them motherfuckers. <laughs> I'd rather talk to them bed bugs than. Guys, my teeth look wide as hell, bro. <laughs> you know how I say? Look at this shit. <laughs> look at this shit, man. Fuck to you, you <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> big old like beetle ass, ass motherfucker. <laughs> You say you big old beetle ass motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, man, this is what happens when you're married for over 20 years. Y'all just roast each other. Holy oh, she proposed to him? Yeah, bro, I wouldn't know how to react. If my girlfriend proposed to me in front of everybody, bro, my man who can't take it, can't take it. Cause I want to be the one to propose to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man. I'm supposed to be the man in the relationship. That's how I was raised. I'm the man. 
I propose to you. You don't come do that shit to me. The fuck I look like? A bitch? You the bitch. Hey, don't want to cut myself. You know that. But never call me the B-word ever again. You promise. Bitch. I usually don't call girls bitches at all, for real. I don't, unless they're act actually acting like a bitch. Or for entertainment purposes, like I'll say bitches in my songs, you know what I'm saying? I'll say bitch on video. My personal real life, I don't just call bitches bitches. I'll be like, hey, where the bitches at? I mean, that's a lie. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Sometimes I do, but I won't be like, yeah, that's my bitch. Yeah, the bitches, the, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, when your roommate has to come into your room to fart because her boyfriend is here. <laughs> What the fuck? I get it's a natural thing, but if a girl fart like that next to you, you start thinking about her a certain ways. Like you can't see her as like sexy anymore. Cause I remember you farting on my bed for two minutes straight, and now you're trying to be sexy. Get the fuck out of here. Your hair aggressively. Bro, she is twice your age. What the fuck are you doing? Get out. Uh. Get out now, man. Shit. Me to me. Me to me. Some people tell me this man is trapped. I need help. Some people can fuck off and go to hell. Hello. Hey, nigga. No, hey, no one. Hey, shit, shit with my girl. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah, that'd be the worst, man. When you with your girl and your boy just call up on some like whole shit. <laughs> my bad. You got me on speaker. Hell yeah, she right here. All that nigga do is talk about you. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> That's a real friend right there, man. That's a real homie. Hey, you do that for me? Hey, dab me up, man. Yes, sir. So I'm having a disagreement with a guy I'm dating. So he sends me a house that he wants us to rent, and he puts, I'm looking for us a home. I said, oh, okay. He then comes back and says 50-50, to which I said lies, all lies. He then comes back and says, well, what's the problem? My grandmother and my mom uh, told me this is the way you do it. I was raised by a bunch of women, so what's your problem? I came back and said, yes, you were raised by a bunch of single women. And a lot of single women, single mothers, tell their sons that. Oh, well, if I can get up and do it, then she can. And if I had to do this, then she can. Forgetting that you're not supposed to. I have a man, you, and because I have a man, you, my man is supposed to provide, protect, and lead. And I'm not saying you have to do everything, but I am saying if we're finna bust this down like roommates, I don't sleep with my roommates. So however you want to handle it. I mean, if you're broke, if you ain't got the money to do it full on, yeah, you guys gotta compromise and go on that 50-50, but if he does have the money and he still wants to do 50-50, then yeah, that's how he was raised by his mom. My mom actually told me the same thing. Me personally, from what I've learned throughout my life, my experience, if I'm getting a house with a girl, I'm paying for everything, man. Me, that's just that's just how I roll, man. I'm a boss. I'm paying for everything. Stay in your motherfucking ass in that corner and don't motherfucking move. <laughs> I ain't playing, bro. Get Damn. out of the corner, we scrap it. I'm telling you. Stay in your ass in there and calm down and think about what you just did to me. Throwing water on me, bro. That's some motherfucking childish shit. You're 30 years old. You throwing motherfucking. <laughs> this man treating her like a whole child, bro. He put her in timeout. <laughs> Water on me, over assuming uh, something, bitch. You you stand there until you can get it all out. Of until I dry off, bitch. Don't get out the corner until I dry off. Why does he sound like that, bro? And why is she actually standing in the corner like a little child, bro? Is she on her phone? Like what's up? She's actually in the corner. Okay, on um, that second order. You want some to eat? Yeah, babe. You got money? You, that's it for the second order. That, that's okay. I'm going to cancel that. Wait, hold on. What's it? That's, you for real? I ain't going to the second order for me. Thank you. See, that's some shit I would I would never do, bro. That's some shit I would never do. That's some, that's some broke shit right there. You for real? What happened? You not going to give me nothing to eat for real? Nah, man. Y'all be having this confused. You said we friends. Like, damn. Okay, I get it now. 
She tried to friend zone my guy. I expected him to pay. Get the fuck out of here! Oh shit! Woo! 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 Get my baby like. Nah, we cool and all, man, but you know what I'm saying? You got your own money. I see you. Everybody, this, this reminds me of the time. Like, this girl I made music with, like, we're acquaintances. I don't even consider her to be, like, my friend. Now that I look back in my life, I never had, like, a female friend, but just acquaintance, acquaintances that would, like, do things together here and there. She tried to get me to buy her a meal and bring it back to her house. What the fuck do I look like? DoorDash? Your Uber Eats? She told me her and her friend was trying to go out to the party. I'm like, bet. Pull up. And then she gonna call me and say, hey, can you bring food? I'm like, fuck no. I took my ass, I went to the club and talked to some big women. If you really look at it, are they really your friends? Will they do the same things for you that you would do for them? Will they ever randomly just bring food for you? Or randomly give you a ride somewhere? Just think about it, bro. These girls are not your friends. They're just using you. They're using you. Man, like, anyway, don't fucking, nah, bro, mm-mm. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch you eat. Hey, you ain't gotta watch me close your eyes, go to sleep or whatever, man, but I ain't going for it. Y'all already be, you know what I'm saying, doing my homeboy dirty, taking Miami trips. That's my G right uh, there. Girl, you know what's up. And you know done, what's up. Your eyebrows still don't even be ready, man, but still, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, you, ain't, you balling off my homeboy for one. I mean, I'm cool with you and all, but I ain't, nah, bro. You ain't getting both of us. You can get him, but I'm not going for it. So you telling all me. All my life, I had to fight. I'm not for the fight for to keep my money in my pocket for you to eat. And you got money right now. No, nah, man. It ain't working like all that. All my life, right. I had to we fight. We friends, though. That was friends, do. I look out for you. I looked out. You said you was hungry and you ain't had no money. So I stopped you from, you know what I'm saying, getting your hopes up. Nah, bro. Mm -mm. So you telling me. You for real. That's crazy. What you talking like for real, like I'm not even trying to argue with you like at all. And you're being kind of mean. <laughs> like for real, like I'm not even trying to argue with you like at all. And you're being kind of mean. <laughs> Let me tell you guys this. Ever since girls were born, they have been practicing and training in the art of manipulation, bruh. The art of manipulating men. It starts with the father. If they ever had a father in their life, they know what to get, what they need from the father whenever they want, man. All they gotta do is raise their voice and do that little poker face. And you have no choice but to be like, uh, okay, baby, you can have it. They've been practicing this shit from they're young, man. And then they go to school, get whatever they need from any boys at school. And then they grow up, 18, 19. They will even develop rosters of guys. They built up a whole football team of guys doing shit for them. That's how well-versed women are in manipulating men. This shit, power couple. Power couple. You know, all them hoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheated on her a couple times. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't even worth it. Fucked your bro. It's all right. I mean, shit. Ain't no fun. The homies can't get none. True, man. You know, well, you know. But. Still, I love her, man. Like, as many as boys as she done had. Yes, I had yeah. three. Pussy's still good. I love it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but what time Baby it is though? Cause uh, you know I go over that bitch house. Um, don't fucking play with me. Don't fucking play with me. No, don't try to. But you know but she I, get it's, it's, it's her turn. Anyways, even though he cheated on me with my sister, my cousin, and tried to talk to my mama, I'm still here. <laughs> this man tried to knock off the whole family. <laughs> he trying to keep it in the family, and then she. Kept it in her family too by fucking his brother. They deserve each other, bro. Cause that's real, real girlfriends do. They stick around with their men do anything. Hey babe. Yeah. Before we got married, you used to give me gifts and expensive jewelry. Okay, so. How come you don't do that anymore? Have you ever seen a fisherman give worms to a fish he already caught? <laughs> That is a good analogy, bro. That's a good comparison, bro. But that's why a lot of marriages fail, because you do all this romantic shit before you actually get married. Your sex life is insane, crazy. And then once you actually get married, you get so comfortable that you stop doing those things and the relationship just goes down the toilet. I think you should continue to do those things, man. Continue going on, continue going on dates, continue spicing up the bedroom. That's how you just keep things interesting and keep that relationship up. <laughs> Oh, my guy down bad, bro. City boys, we lost one, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got to do the walk of shame for that one. This man, this man need a ritual, bro. He's going to need a ritual to get rid of that energy, bro. Because, like, what the fuck?
Why would you get her name tatted on your cheek? Help this city boy. We got a city boy down, man. I pray for him. Please expand your energy and raise this man up, man. Raise him up from the sunken place. Alright, hopefully that prayer will get to him because my guy is in the sunken place right now. It's crazy. Let me tell y'all something. When I get a boyfriend, bitch, I'm shutting everything down, bitch. When you call his phone, bitch, that's our phone now. When you call it, I'm going to be on the voicemail. Hi, you've reached Bay's phone. Leave us a message. Bitch, you tried it. All that sis shit. If his mama ain't birthed you, bitch, you are not his sister. But your sister can catch these hands too, shit. She can catch the tail end of this bumper rolling across her lifeless ass body if she decides to. His social networks. Bitch, you already know. I'm in the profile picture with that nigga shit. You better give me your Instagram password and all that shit too. You know what I'm saying? If she was ugly, I'd be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> But she pretty, you know what I'm saying? She pretty. Pretty girls pretty girls can get away with a lot more things, man. Just as like attractive guys can get away with more things too. She, basically, she's saying she's a red flag, bro. She's not gonna give you any space. And us as men, we need space. If you're in a relationship, you do need time to yourself. All right, and with that said, man, that is the end of the video. Remember, watch out for these female manipulation tactics, man. Don't let them get you. And I'll see you on the next one. When I got time, I started. Yeah, I do this in my sleep, it ain't nothing. I like the sex better when it's with the loving. If I hit it raw, just know I ain't coming. I ain't coming. Hey, yeah, I'm starting.